Hi, my name is Dr. Yuri Burstyn. I'm a veterinarian in Vancouver, BC, and I'd like to welcome you to my series of practical skills for pet owners. Well, today we're going to talk about dental care for dogs. Now, toothbrushing is always a good idea, and it's something that you want to start doing quite early with your pet, preferably when they're a puppy. Uh, Cedric here is about 12 years old. He's going to help me demonstrate um, proper toothbrushing technique. Now, ideally, you want to have a dog who's really comfortable with you touching his mouth. You basically get into this when they're nice and young. Get your hands in there, brush your fingers against their teeth. When we start to brush a dog's teeth, uh, we usually want to get them used to the taste of the toothpaste. The taste toothpaste we use for pets are usually flavored, so we're basically like giving your dog a treat. Um, and normally I recommend starting with just some toothpaste on your finger and rubbing it on the teeth up here just to give them a flavor and a taste for it. And usually you end up with lots of drool and the dog's chewing on your finger and chewing on a toothbrush. So it's really just a big messy game that for them. Um, and it does some good for their teeth. Now, how often to brush is something people often ask me. And I say as often as you can. Uh, you know, brushing your dog's teeth every day before bed is a great idea. Not everybody's got the time to do that. And really, if you're doing it once or twice a week, you're probably ahead of the curve. But as often as you can would be my best advice. Um, so, we have some enzymatic flavored doggy toothpaste. Hey, sweetness. You see Cedric's showing some interest in it already. Usually, I just get a little bit on my finger. Let, let our friend here get a little taste for it. That's pretty weird, right? And then what you want to do is just start brushing gently just onto the canines. Your goal is to get back to these molars back here, but it's the canines are more accessible. And once the dog is used to having their canines brushed, you can work on the molars. And we're starting to drool, right? Because it tastes good. Once you have your dog used to the taste of the toothpaste and quite all right with you rubbing your finger on their teeth, what you do is you move up to a toothbrush. There's a number of dog toothbrushes on the market. I personally prefer using just a soft baby toothbrush you can get from any convenience store. Um, just your main idea is to have a soft toothbrush that you can your dog accepts, which is pretty easy to find. Hey, sweetie. Now, put a little toothpaste on the toothbrush. And remember, this is basically a treat, so you want to rub a little bit just on the canines. You don't need to brush hard because, again, these toothpastes are enzymatic, so they work by softening up the plaque. There we go. And that's really all you need to do. You don't need to worry about brushing the incisors on the dog. They're not really very large teeth. So if you're doing that, you're already doing quite well. You know, get clean those canines. Now, once the dog is comfortable with the canines being clean, you can move on to the molars. And the way you do that is just by lifting the lip up a little bit and getting back there just like that, just like that. Now, it always helps to get a little bit more of the yummy toothpaste on there. Cedric, you're a good boy, Cedric. So good. You can just get in there and brush, 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 brush those teeth. Get in there, you know, just like that. There we go. Now it might take a little while to get up to this point. Um, that's right. Just take your time. Just make sure it's fun for the dog. And of course, you have to do both sides. You have to get in there, just brush, 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 just like that. Just gently massage their gums. And as you can see, Cedric is having a bit of a lick of the toothbrush and drooling a lot. So that's pretty much all there is to it. Is basically make it a bit of a game, make it a treat for your dog. And the most important thing is just take your time. Work your way up to brushing those molars uh, just by working your fingers in and working on the canines first, and then work your way back to the molars as your dog allows you. And then you're gonna have a happy dog with clean teeth. Just like that. So, like I said at the beginning of the video, if you can do, do this as often as you practically can, uh, except every day is great, but even if you're doing it once or twice a week, you still have significant impact on your dog's oral health. So if you find this video useful, uh, please like it and share it, and have a good time brushing your dog's teeth.